In this video, we're going to take a little bit closer look at some of the functions of the Smart Tool in Pro Tools. The Smart Tool combines the Trim Tool, Selector Tool, Grabber Tool, and Fade functionality into a single tool. You can enable the Smart Tool by clicking the Smart Tool button, which is the bracket that appears above the Trim, Selector, and Grabber tools. You can also enable the Smart Tool by pressing any two of the three function keys, F6, F7, and F8. Now that we've enabled the Smart Tool, let's take a look at the primary Smart Tool functions. If you move the Smart Tool into the upper half of any clip, it becomes the selector. If you move the Smart Tool into the bottom half of any clip, it becomes the grabber. If you move the Smart Tool near a clip boundary, it becomes the trim tool. But one of the things that makes the Smart Tool so powerful is its ability to create fades. If you go to the upper left corner of a clip, you can click and drag to create a fade in. If you go to the upper right corner of a clip, you can click and drag to create a fade out. And if you have two adjacent clips, you can go to the bottom corner of either clip and click and drag to create a crossfade. When you use the Smart Tool to create fades, the fade shape is determined by your Pro Tools preferences. To modify the default fade shape, go to Preferences and click on the Editing tab. You'll see the Fades section in the upper right. Under Default Fade Settings, you can click on Fade In, Fade Out, or Crossfade, and customize the default fade shape. Then click OK to lock in the changes. So that's an overview of the functionality of the Smart Tool in Pro Tools. One thing to keep in mind when using the Smart Tool is that the mode of each tool does stay active when you enable the Smart Tool. So for example, if you've set the Trim Tool to TCE mode, it will continue to function in TCE mode when you enable the Smart Tool. So be sure to verify the mode of each tool to make sure that it will work the way you expect it to.